hour. All right, so this is session recap for the fourth day of June. And this morning we were watching as the dollar went up and then it went turned to the downside. Now, there's still a danger here of doing an A, B, C up to here to set up a move to the downside. So you've got to be careful on this C wave here, right there, right? If it does it. Now, if it continues to go down, then this is all the room we got, all right? But we are a seller and, and that's all there is to it. Even though this may go up uh, temporarily, we're a seller. All right, so seller means that uh, euro to the upside. We don't have a big enough ATR. You can't even trade it. There's no reason to even bother. You don't have 55 pips. Walk away from pound dollar. I mean, the euro dollar. Pound dollar, we went down to the pip to its ATR with a wick right there and tagged it, and that was it. All right, so if the dollar keeps going down, this is going to go up. All right, so watch for it tonight to go up. If the dollar goes down up into this area right here, you got to wait till five o'clock. You'll get a new ATR at five o'clock. And once you know the ATR, you know where the target is. If you don't know the ATR, you have no clue. Dollar Swiss is going to validate it. And with this big movement, we may get over 55 pips finally. And it's still saying dollars going down. Remember, Swiss franc is pegged to the dollar because it's pegged to the dollar, not floated against the dollar. It follows the dollar. And it tells you it's not going to do the C wave. We'll see. All right. All right. Dollar yen. Down we go, nothing to do, hit its ATR easily. We need to pull back up into here, all right? So you can see you're in a third wave right here. So this is a one, this is a two, this is a third wave. Next is a fourth wave and then a fifth wave down. Watch for that fourth wave up. This is most likely an intervention like that was, like that one, and like that one was. Most likely the Bank of Japan came in and helped that trade go, all right? Watch for the pullback. They have no room here. So they got to put, they either have to go sideways to here where they get a shot at it, or they got to do an ABC where they get a shot at it. All right. So wait for that to happen. Can't trade Aussie dollar, ATR is too small. Over to Euro yen, it did its ATR times three last night. As you can see, most likely Bank of Japan came in and said, yeah, we got, we got a catalyst. Let's go, boys. All right, now they're doing a flag pattern right here, but this is an unsustainable uh, move, all right? So they could still do a C wave up here or a sideways move for the target down here. You got to wait till five o'clock to get a new ATR. The ATRs will rise on all the yen crosses. Pound yen, all right? Pound, same thing here. You can see almost surely a Bank of Japan. We're pulling up right now. Our target is S5 later on today. We'll certainly see a pullback up in here and then watch for it to go again if the dollar goes uh, down, right? Now, a dollar going down means pound yen should actually go up, all right? So it may turn here. This may be the turn and they're headed back up. So you got to wait for that information. All you got is down right now. So wait, 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 wait. Aussie yen, all the yen crosses, almost surely, a, a Bank of Japan intervention. Same look here, all right? Uh, if dollar's going down, this should go up, all right? But you've got a whole a whole nother wrinkle in here to now is that the Bank of Japan is most likely playing in the market. They do not want the dollar, uh, the currency to go, uh, go, to go up any higher, all right? So they're trying to drive it down, all right? So wait for five o'clock, get a new ATR. There you go. Can't trade Euro pound. It's too low in ATR. Euro Aussie, right up to its ATR, no problem at all. And uh, and if dollar goes up, this should make the, uh, should continue up, all right? even in a pullback. But if the dollar goes down, we're watch, waiting for this to turn and make the turn down. And you'll be looking to come down here and do a double bottom on this day chart bottom again tonight. Swiss yen. And again, Bank of Japan here, most likely, all right? Now, dollar going down, this is going to go up. So we'll probably do a triple top up here before we turn down. So watch for that to happen. Go up here, do a triple top, and turn to the downside, all right? So let's go see if they need a triple top. Let's go up to 240 and count the money in, all right? You can see the money in all pretty clearly, all right? First money is in here. Second money is in here. Third money is in here, Okay. First money came out here. This money came out here. This money came out here, all right? Now, when they pull up here, wherever they go, make the turn, all right? Maybe all the way up here for a triple top. Then this money is out finally here. 
Now they can go to the downside. They can't go to the downside while they still have buys. They got to divest themselves of it. How do they do that? Close and reverse is how they do it. All right. Learn how the market works. Found out. All right. To the pip, to its ATR, it's done. We're at a triple top here also, and watch for it to come down. There's no room anymore up to the top on Pound Aussie. And uh, as we know, Pound New Zealand's headed down, and Euro New Zealand's headed down. So uh, we most likely see that. But it's already done its ATR, so you now have to wait until 5 o'clock to get a new ATR. Right? Could be. Could be, Andy. You're New Zealand. Here we go. All right. There we did. We turned it down. Anybody in uh, in here on the closing reverse? We had to have 55 pips. We got it with that above there. Anybody in on the closing reverse to the downside? You're in New Zealand. Anybody in it? Okay. Andy's in it. Anybody else? Just Andy traded it. Okay. Good job, Andy. Looking for a target down here at... Um, uh, 76, uh, 76, 50, so it's going to be 75, 63, hold for 75, 44, Andy. All right, Pound New Zealand. All right, anybody in Pound New Zealand? Anybody in Pound New Zealand? We're breaking again. I'm down five pips. All right, anybody else? Pound New Zealand down. Robert's in it. Okay. Uh, Saeed's in it. Okay. So we do have a live trade on here this morning then. You so say, I didn't hear you call a trade. Oh, yeah, I, I I gave you the parameters so many times, it's pathetic. All right. I don't make trades. I, oh, I did make this trade, but I don't I don't call trades. I let you make that decision. Our target is 20615 down there, and uh, we're underway here. Really having trouble getting going. It's non-farm payroll week. It makes sense, all right? So we got a live trade down on the pound New Zealand, all right? And... Uh, New Zealand yen, also an intervention, most likely, as you can see. Watch for it to continue to the downside. Uh, all the NCRO ATRs are going to go up. You just got a zero line break on the MACD down here. So we're looking to come down to this area down in here tonight. Can't trade Aussie Swissy or Aussie New Zealand, but we can trade Pound Swissy. Pound Swissy ATR will go up. So that's a good sign for us. They easily went right to the pip to its ATR and then the next target. This is why you see a big candle. You hold for the next ta target. You see a little candle, bank two lots, hold trade one for the next target. That's it. You don't change it. You do it every time, right? You start doing that. You suddenly start seeing <clears throat> your account is recovering, right? That's what happens. Looking to come down here, probably to the S5 tonight at 1.1300. All right. Any last